Hey, what's up guys? My name is the Build Monker, and I am here with another build tutorial. So before we begin, I would like to tell you a couple things here and there that you might be interested in in terms of the criticisms I received on my last video. Those criticisms being the music and adding Wayla to the video. Now, the first one is the music. I would like to say that there will be no music in this video, and um, so I would like you to tell me your opinion if we sh if I should add music, if it feels empty. If I do re-add the music, it'll be like acoustic stuff. It won't be dubstep like I had last time. Second criticism is in regards to Wayla and adding it to the video, and I feel like it's a great idea, but... I think F1 just has its elegance, so I'm going to find a more elegant solution in terms of editing. Today I'll use Wayla, and, but I have some plans in the working for editing my videos. Now, without further ado, let's begin. One thing that I um, have always not really liked about, um, about like a lot of people's builds, and this is a personal pet peeve of mine. I completely understand why people do it, but they have these big machine walls, which um, have like every single machine from thermal expansion, Enduro, actually additions, what have you. And um, here I have several uh, machines from thermal expansion, but they are used in ways that look a lot more interesting. And like so. Each um, of these builds represents a different machine. Now, let's begin. The first one is this brick oven. And essentially what this is, is it is meant to be a redstone furnace. And um, I've used the weathered and cracked brick patterns for the bricks, as well as the braid pattern to make an overhang. Up here, we have kind of a, sl a very slight sloped roof using chisels and bits. And I also have this nice chimney made of the pillar bricks and the tiles. Now, on the floor we have these magma blocks mixed in with chiseled variants of dirt. Which I feel work out quite well in this. Second build is for our pulverizer over here. Um, it still says redstone furnace, that's a bug. I should mention, none of these have power conduits connected to them. But it should be easy to connect them if you have Ender I.O. or machines that like allow condo facades. So make sure so I made sure of that. Now this is a millstone. We got our trusty ox pulling it. We got like obsidian chunks being kind of ground down. And we have our andesite tiles. Of course, these are vanilla oak logs. And this is interesting. First of all, we got the lead that holds the cow on this fence. But this is the cobblestone zag pattern. And it's a really weird pattern because it's just completely random, but if you look at pictures of millstones, they did have grooves like that. Now, if the pattern was less random, I would use it a lot more, but I think it actually works in this scenario pretty well. So, um, yeah, if you disagree, that's fine. You can build it out of, like, trodden bricks or something, and it'll still work pretty well. But, um, I can imagine this one being sort of in a medieval village or something as, like, you could, heck, you could turn this into like an ore processing machine below the millstone. That could work. This is the most simple build out of these. This is a sawmill. We got factory blocks in two different patterns. I made sure these are not connected textures, just so you can quite easily put them, make them conduit facades. I have these plates, like these coin iron blocks, cut in half with chisels and bits to make it almost look like a saw and it's cutting a log. This is the sawmill and of course we have the spruce logs right here. The si it's a very simple build. Now excuse that crafting table right there I was doing stuff with chisels and bits but I forgot to clean that up sorry. Now this is um, a greenhouse for the phytogenic insulator. We have green concrete in the layers pattern. We've got light gray stained glass bricks and we've got a chiseled roof made of regular gray stained glass. The original plan was to use lime stained glass for it, but it was way too much color, and I needed a better solution. So that's what I came up with. This is very simple. We got like rose bushes and peonies inside, 
and we, I think it's really, I was not a big fan of it, but it's kind of grown on me since I put the roof in. The final one isn't really a machine that processes things. It's an energy cell. And we made it using mostly laboratory blocks. I don't know what those are called, but like these tiles right here and these checkered tiles. I think got a lot. The main thing is that it's like a futuristic kind of device with uh, with like a power beam in the center which holds all the energy. We got like redstone accents. Here's the energy cell. More redstone accents and of course this one. We use the layers design for here, the pillar design on the sides, and the tile design on the corners. Anyway, that's all I have for now. It's These aren't meant to be copied purely. You can if you want, but it's kind of meant to inspire you with better ways to use thermal expansion machines. If you're inspired, leave a like, a comment, or just subscribe. And I shall see you in a little bit. Peace.